and today we're going to be learning how to do the reverse power sweep. Now in my prior video I taught you guys how to do the forward power sweep and also we've learned the coffee grinder and also the reverse coffee grinder. So I always like to say the power sweep is like the coffee grinder except your foot doesn't leave the ground. So a lot of times when I teach kids to do the coffee grinder, they accidentally do a power sweep, which is okay because oftentimes a mistake becomes a creative move. The reverse power sweep is literally kind of like the reverse coffee grinder, but same thing. Our foot doesn't leave the ground, right? Our knee lifts up and it goes through. So we're gonna start off from a push-up position with our leg kind of on the side, our foot on the ground, our knee on the ground. Notice I got knee pads because it really helps save your knees. So we're gonna have our leg back here and I want you guys to just swing it back and forth, all right? What we're gonna do is when we go this way, we have to kind of bend it in and we're gonna straighten our leg out. In order to get it through, it has to stay bent because obviously if it's straight, it's gonna bump into our leg. So we go through, Kind of like we're gonna do like a six step. And then we drop our knee back down and we swing it all the way through, all right? Depending on your flexibility really changes how much you're gonna have to lift up. Because if you're really flexible, you could do this without really, just literally lifting your legs here, all right? But if you're not very flexible, you're gonna have to go here. You might have to lean back and swing out. Both are definitely okay, it's just depending on your flexibility, you have to adjust, okay? Let's try that again. My leg is out. Number one, swing. Knee comes down, swing out. Go again. Lift your knee up, swing, out. Again, swing, out. Swing, out. Notice I'm also shifting my weight back and forth from right to left. So again, left is up, right is up, left is up, right is up, left, right, left, right. And then we wanna do it in one single motion. So not stopping, but one fluid motion. So it goes here, all the way to here. Again, not stopping. After you guys get comfortable, then try to do multiple reverse power sweeps. So we're gonna start off with just three, and we're gonna go slow. So it goes here, we're gonna go one, two, three, All right? And you wanna try your best, I know I kinda scraped here, but you wanna try your best not to scrape too much because, again, it kinda makes it look sloppy and also at the same time, it slows your flow down. So try your best not to scrape too much, okay? Let's do it again. Three. Leg out. One, two, three. All right? Once you guys start getting comfortable with that basic move, again, try to add it in with different flows. For example, maybe you're gonna go sweep and then power sweep. All right? Try to experiment with different things in the move and also out of the move. Also different directions and ways that you're facing. Practicing different moves is often an easy way for you guys to kind of expand your, your mind and, and get creative with it. Because a lot of times you get stuck practicing certain things and you sometimes need just that one little skill to, to change it up. One of the reasons I really like this move and also just reverse coffee grinders, coffee grinders and just different variations of sweeps, it's an easy way to change your direction of flow. A lot of times you get stuck going one way and reversing it and going in a different way and it helps you go into different directions and areas. Um, one of the really cool things that we used to do when we were younger is take the footage that we danced to or sometimes even like take martial art movies for example and we press rewind and we'd see the sequence that they did in reverse and that was inspiring to us. Moves like this are things that I think about when I used to play movies in reverse and and you know pick up ideas from that because it's the backwards version of what you're used to okay i hope you guys enjoy this and again get creative have fun talk to you guys soon peace